Our Father and our God, we bring the country of Tajikistan before your presence. We thank you, O God Almighty, because of the over seven million people that live in this nation. Lord, thank you because you know all of them by name. Lord, we are thankful to you because of the different people groups that make up this nation of Tajikistan. Lord, we pray that they would learn to live in harmony with one another. We thank you even for the economy in this nation. We know that they are blessed with the vast mineral resources that are untapped, yet many are left in abject poverty in that country. Above all, Lord God, we want to pray for the spiritual well-being of this nation. Lord, we are thankful first and foremost that a Tajik church had been planted. And oh Lord, even though we're just barely a thousand people there, Lord, we thank you because this is the beginning of a mighty work that you are doing. Father, we pray that you would strengthen this church. We pray, O oh Lord, for the leadership of the church and all members that are attending. We know that they are attending this church, O oh Lord, at great risk for their lives because there is still some opposition towards Christianity in that country. Yet, O oh Lord God, we pray that you give courage to your children, give them boldness, and yet give them love, O oh God, and humility that many would be attracted and brought to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we thank you that there is stability in that country since the end of the war. Our God and our Father, we want to pray that you would bring healing, especially to the nation, in terms of the hardship that many are going through. Lord, we know that Islam is the official religion in that country, with over 94% of the people adhering to Islam. Father God Almighty, we pray that just as you have been revealing yourself through dreams and visions, that you reveal yourself to the large population of Tajikistans, O Lord, who are Muslims, so that, Lord, you begin to soften the hearts of the Muslims and, O Lord, turn them from Islam to Christ. Lord, even though there is freedom of worship, but, O God, we know that is often restrained, O God. But we pray that this right will not be taken away from your children so that they will continue to worship you. Lord, we thank you that you will bring in even more expatriates, O oh Lord, so that there will be tent makers helping that nation in bringing many to your saving knowledge. Thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing. We pray for the immigration of people, O oh Lord. Again, because of the problems economically, a lot of people are living, and it's just the poorest of the poor are being left, O oh God, behind. But we pray that, Lord, you will change this trend so that people will be coming in rather than going out into that country, and through that, bring in the Christian influence and bring in the gospel that is needed to transform this nation. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that they have the Bible in Tajik. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for what you are doing in Tajikistan. This is a nation, O oh God, that you care for, and we pray that we will see many, many come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for you will reign, and you will reign over Tajikistan. We pray this with thanksgiving, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <music>